Hey guys, my name is Dina Marie Rodriguez and I'm so excited to show you the newest episode of Women of Illustration. This is a brand new web series, guys, that's dedicated to helping female artists everywhere be heard, make art, and get paid. This episode, we're back with Samantha Lopez, an amazing and beautiful, talented illustrator out of California, Los Angeles. And this episode is all about community. Now, this is the second episode in a three-part series on independence, how us women can come together and just feel like we got this. So in this episode with Samantha Lopez, we're going to be talking about all the different ways you guys can kind of break outside of the four walls of your office or home and actually start to talk to people, whether it's in real life, doing a networking event, creating your own mastermind group, or actually just doing a collaboration with someone and talking to them on Instagram. We also have a very special announcement, a volunteer opportunity to be a part of Moment of Illustration, so definitely stay tuned after this episode. Today we're talking about community, 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 e e e e e community. <laughs> okay. All right, we're back with Samantha Lopez. She's cute. She's she's got the curls. <laughs> <laughs> and the getting talent bigger, I, bigger. I just introduced you I'm like she's beautiful she's got bronze brains <laughs> follow her on drill and instagram and all the things follow her. um okay so today we're going to be talking about pretty much like how to find your creative community because we kind of mm -hmm. left off last episode just kind of talking about uh, how do we create opportunities for ourselves just so we can be more independent badass women and i think a part mm -hmm. of being independent is actually being a part of of, of a community because mm -hmm. Uh, especially if you're at home freelance or for those of you who have kids and are thinking about dabbling into freelance to get kind of that creative aspect back in your life that you also get paid for, it can be extremely lonely and it's really hard to continue to push yourself without actually being able to bounce off ideas from other people. Mm -hmm. Like you might think, <laughs> you might think that you have the best idea ever, but if you just had that one person to talk to, they could have been like actually that's already been done or <laughs> what if you did this on top of that and like you're missing yeah. out on, on a possibility of being an even better artist exactly. pretty much um mm -hmm. so with all of those things what would you mm -hmm. say is your favorite way to connect with people connect with people yeah <laughs> connect with people it, it could be in the real world it could be on Ooh, the internet okay. Just like, okay. how do you try to like, I mean, not everyone has like their own mastermind group like I do, but like yeah. you can, there's ways that you can connect with people that are in the field, but what's your favorite way to do it? Um, I definitely think Instagram is my favorite way to connect with uh, just a variety of different artists and illustrators and um, musicians, just everyone's on there. So it's just yeah. so easy to get in contact with people that inspire you and that you just want to be friends with, which is great. Totally. Now, when you say connect, is that just like leaving positive reinforcement comments or do you actually like chat with people like with Insta within um, Instagram stories or within messaging or anything like that? I feel like Instagram stories gives you that opportunity to not only, not only give positive reinforcement, but like start a conversation with someone that um, could lead to something else. Um, so I think that's the best way and the way I use it is to just like, that's like my in to like meet these people, you know, it's yeah. like to just like say something funny or uh, <laughs> ask a question. Um, and it's as simple as that. And you're instantly in contact with someone, yeah. which is great. <laughs> have you created any like friendships that have started because of Instagram? Like where you like got to talk to someone in real life because you talked to them on Instagram or like have more of a relationship with that person? trying to think if there's anyone specific I totally have um I feel like a lot of people like I <laughs> I've just like been friends with on Instagram and then I meet them in real life and it's just like even better you yeah, know for and sure it, I think it'd be like it's it sucked amazing. and it was awkward and it's terrible. <laughs> they were the worst people ever I'm just kidding um no but totally have created a bunch of like real friendships out of Instagram just people and a lot of them too are designers and illustrators which is even cooler yeah for sure. Okay, so like, would you say that you would you network often with artists in real life? In real life? No, I feel like a, I don't really have a lot of artist friends in real life, which is kind of weird. I have one really good friend, my friend Eric. Um, he's an illustrator, but totally like we have totally different styles, obviously. Mm -hmm. And he's more like traditional. 
um, materials, which is amazing. And he's like my one artist friend and he's the one who connects me with all these different artists, um, which is great. Um, but I think it's all other people on Instagram though, <laughs> that we're like all like in this weird like friend group. It's yeah. kind of crazy. I no, know just totally. It. No, I'm, I'm, I'm there with you. Um, I think but, it's, it's especially hard to make art friends in real life. Mm -hmm. Um, and a lot of people feel even awkward just reaching out to someone on Instagram, which I think is yeah. nuts. Cause I'm just yeah. like, like, again, the worst thing anyone could do is not respond or not accept your fucking message. And then you just don't mm. worry about it. Although exactly. people out there who think it's okay to like message someone and they don't respond. And you, so you just keep messaging them. Don't do that. That's how you get blocked so fast. <laughs> like people do that to me all the time. Cause I, cause there'll be like pot, like old podcast episodes I've been on or old like classes I've taught where I, you know, mm -hmm. before I, you know, had a larger following, like, oh, hey, if you guys have any questions, you want to reach out to me, you can totally do that. <laughs> so I get like anywhere from like 10 to 30 messages a day, Whoa. either. And that's like, and that's everything. That's like email, Instagram, Drupal, yeah. LinkedIn, all the stuff. Yeah. And as much as I would love to respond to all these people, my full-time job isn't to help you out for free. That's why we're doing women yeah. illustration. That's why I teach courses. That's why, I, yeah, that's why we're doing this thing right here. And it's totally free. Um, and, um, but when people are like, like, oh, what do you mean? You're not going to help me out for free. Yeah. What do you mean? <laughs> I'm like, mm -hmm. guys, that's how you get like alienated in the creative community because as, as big as it is, it's mm -hmm. a lot smaller than you think it is. Yeah. That's why it's really hard to like get away with like stealing another artist's work. Exactly. You're going to, someone's going to see it. They're going to tag <laughs> the person who made it, it <laughs> that you're going to get called out. If you mm -hmm. did a dramatic thing at a conference, people are going to know about it. Like it sucks. <laughs> it sucks. Yeah. Um, but just something to keep in mind, like they are watching you mm -hmm. <laughs> and they know what's mm -hmm. happening. So you might as well just be kind and friendly and try because people are yeah. going to know who you are regardless especially if you're already putting your work out there so why not take control of the narrative mm -hmm. and actually start talking to people and having yeah. people not guess who you are through other people telling them they can actually see for themselves which i think is yeah. really cool <laughs> do you ever go to like networking events or meetups or anything like that or is it just you're just like <laughs> fuck that i'm gonna i'm gonna stay home <laughs> no i'm like I don't know. I'm just like really shy. So <laughs> I'm like really not at events like that, but I'll go. I usually don't really like me and my friend Eric will usually go to like art events or different galleries um, together, which is cool. It's awesome to have a friend that we can just like do this stuff together. Yeah. Um, do we network? Not a lot, but. Aww, um... that's the whole point. <laughs> <I know. laughs> but it's just, I don't know, just to be around other creatives is like cool enough for me. Like I like that part of it is just being around other people that yeah. like understand it. Like I um, want to be near you. I don't want to talk to you though, but yeah. I, I, I feel your vibrations <laughs> through the wall and through the alcohol we're drinking. And that's all I need. That's all I need. I'm good. <laughs> that's funny. Um, yeah. I mean, I definitely don't think networking is an easy thing. It's something that like, yeah. I really have to suit myself up for. I'm like, okay, I'm going to do it. I'm going to look cute doing this. and I'm going to leave that house and I'm going to drive there. Cause like, um, I live in Beaverton, which is like, depending on traffic anywhere from like 15 to 30 minutes away from Portland. And I hate fucking okay. driving cars. Parking sucks, mm -hmm. especially going to downtown Portland. I had this really yeah. bad experience. <laughs> the first time I went to a networking event in Portland, it was design week, which is this huge event in Portland where there's like tons of like open houses for creative studios. There's, you know, mm -hmm. workshops, talks, all over the city, all, all different times. And this was like the opening party situation. Mm -hmm. And I went with Rick and, you know, again, I'm the kind of person that talks to people. I don't really give a shit what people think about me, yeah. whatever. And oh my God. Okay. So definitely the worst thing that someone can say to you is not no. It's when they just fucking blatantly ignore the fuck out of you. Mm. <laughs> I, whoa, it was weird. I, I would like, and it, I, there was a vibe. It was like a Oh, no. It was like, like I just go like this, and you know what I'm gonna say. It's like everyone's holding the wine glasses like this. Like who? This is weird. Just fucking hold, just hold, just just hold it. Hold it's it. not, it's not like a fucking tiny dog. Normal. I don't, I don't. It's weird. Um, and they're just like swashing it. They're like sniffing it, talking about the notes. I'm like, where the fuck am I right now? I don't understand what, what is happening. Yeah, and then I talk to them, and I'd like, you know, people are like in a group. And my thing that I do, which I think I think is funny, is people will, you know, start laughing. And I go, ha ha, you're so, I'm like, oh, I know, right? Even though I just come into the group and I have no idea what's happening. Oh and they God. all just looked at me and were like, 
like this, just like, no. And I was just like, oh, okay. <laughs> I just like awkwardly Bye. left. I was like, I thought this was the place where the weirdos hung out. I thought you would appreciate yeah. my little joke, which works a lot of the time when I do that. Mm-hmm. And then just like trying to talk to people and they're like, just like looking at their phones while I'm talking to them. I'm like, this is not real life. And it put such a bad taste in my mouth that we left. We like, we yeah. had drink tickets that we paid for just slurp down those fucking drinks so hardcore <laughs> and just peace the fuck out and was like fuck Bye. portland it was so mad. it took me like a year and a half to go to another networking event because i was yeah, so like, like traumatized by that yeah a little bit, yeah and yeah. being such a you know someone so new to the area mm-hmm. and um I, you know i had been in the industry for a few years you know but i didn't have any sort of notoriety and all these mm-hmm. people were just like showing up and like comparing dick sizes or in follower counts and stuff i'm just like this is yeah. not what I signed up for. Um, <laughs> Good. <laughs> so it definitely can be intimidating, but when you do go to a networking event and you find your people, there's mm-hmm. like no more, there's, there's nothing more satisfying. So like, mm-hmm. I think something that helps me personally is if I'm like somewhat of an authority, even just like, even if I'm just like a volunteer or something, yeah. or something small, that makes me feel so much more comfortable being there. And I feel like I can talk to people more often or like, um, like I went to a different networking group and I think it was the first one I ever went to that I felt good about. It was a mm-hmm. creative clubhouse and they mm-hmm. had big kids and little kids. I think or something like that. I forgot the name, the, the <laughs> nomenclature that they were giving each other. But I was a big kid there to like answer students' questions and stuff, and oh, that cool. made me feel like so good that I felt comfortable to talk to people because that's why I was there. Mm-hmm. And there I met like one of my really really good friends, Shannon, that I've been like really good friends with for the past like four or five years now. So it's like if I hadn't gone to that thing, I would have never met mm-hmm. this person who has had a dramatic effect on my career and yeah. like who I am as a person. And it's just so nice. Especially if you have a partner that isn't a designer or artist, yeah, like I do, <laughs> and I'll, like I'll show him my work, he's like cool, and then leaves, and I'm like, that's not, I need more. <laughs> um, and then you know you have one artist friend, and then you get another artist friend, and then they just yeah. start to pop up everywhere, they and then do. you have this huge like big group hug of friendship, and art, and it's so fucking nice. So I definitely think so yes, nice. bad things happen, and sometimes mm-hmm. it's not a good fit. But Mm -hmm. that doesn't mean that every other person on the planet is going to be an asshole to you. Exactly. (sighs) A challenge that you could give yourself would to go to like a meetup and actually talk to people. Yeah, that definitely would be a challenge for me. I mean, you have your wingman, right? Like you have your friends. So it's not like you're the lonely person that has no friends. Because I feel like that's what everyone thinks when you go to something by yourself. They're like, oh, you have no friends. Yeah. So I'm not going to be your friend. That's what I always think. I know it's not true, but that's what I no, always think. Actually, I feel like it might be the opposite. I think I need to like go to these places alone mm. and just like figure it out by myself. Because once, once I'm like comfortable with someone, I'm like, all right, I don't need to talk to anyone else. Yeah. So I think putting myself out there like truly would be like showing up to one of these things like by myself, like, and just seeing what happens. And I don't think it'd be a bad thing. You know, now that I'm thinking about it, I don't think that's a bad thing. Yeah. And also, like, it's pretty easy to find the people that are by themselves to talk to them Mm -hmm. because they're, like, waiting for someone to talk to them. (laughs) Yeah. Because there's, like, no, like, they came there. The whole point is to talk to people, but they can't. They made the first step to move their body there, but they can't open their Mm -hmm. pie hole to, like, say anything to people. So it's just like, hey, I'm so-and-so. Hey, I'm so-and-so. What do you do? Mm -hmm. What do you do? And then if it works out, talk to them. If not, move on Mm -hmm. to the next person. But yeah. I don't know. You meet some really cool people, especially here in Portland. Like, I, I remember talking to this one girl who was a poet, and she made her full-time income for being a poet. Did what? not know you could do that. And then she made up a poem about me and then did, like, no a slam way. poetry, like, fucking little show about me and how pretty and awesome I was. And I was just like... That's like, so cool. I was like, you made my life. <laughs> like, I will remember that forever. You know what yes. I mean? And, like, there's just so many cool people, whether or not they're in the same spectrum of artists as, or design as you. Yeah. It doesn't even matter. As long as they're on the same wavelength, mm-hmm. you can talk about some really cool shit. And just, I don't know, I think inspiration is literally everywhere and more so in yeah. people. Yeah. Because, like, there's a lot of shit that goes on in your brains. Can you yeah. imagine what happens when you start to, like, get other brains? And you're Connected. all And they're all working together. Oh, it's, so, it's such a fucking... It's such a fucking... It's a powerful thing. thing. Yeah, it's a good feeling, for sure. Yeah. So... Out of, I mean, in LA, I'm sure there's like a ton of events, but what do you think would be something that you would feel the most comfortable talking to people? Do you think it would be like a conference, maybe a meetup that's like specific to a niche or maybe, um, what's the other thing I'm thinking? Oh, I, I totally lost it. Yeah. What do you think would be like the most, 
comfortable way you could kind of get into that networking space? Um, I'm trying to think. Well, I've been to a very small dribble event that was out here in LA and that was, I felt more, I felt comfortable there because I'm very comfortable with dribble, which is like, it's so weird because yeah, it's like a website, but it's like, <laughs> I don't know. I'm just really comfortable like talking about it and like the stuff I put on there. Um, so I think, I feel like dribble events are all, like just the easiest for me. And I think more so illustration um meetups are probably easier for me to like get into rather than graphic design because I feel like like you said before it's very like a very competitive kind of like mindset in, like graphic design yeah and I feel like illustration it's like everyone's doing their own thing and everyone's so different that it's like whatever you're bringing is like it's like cool and exciting where um and I just feel more comfortable in an environment like in that like yeah. That, so like a sense. smaller meetup probably makes the most yeah. sense. That's illustration mm-hmm. based. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, I don't know if I I've never been to a design conference, so really? I don't know. Where, oh, no, you I should go. It. You should yeah, go. To one. I mean, I'm I sure there's, <laughs> you're living in LA. Like, I'm sure there's shit over there. Um, I bet. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> well, I know you like lettering, right? Yes. So yes. I'm actually starting a lettering conference. Oh, what? Yeah, and it's in Portland, which no isn't way. too far away from you. I yeah, I need an excuse to go to Portland. Yeah, so so, um, it's, so we, me and I'm doing it with Noah Camp. Have you have you heard of Noah Camp? I the name sounds familiar. He does like I'm 3D sure. lettering, like really know. bright color schemes. Definitely recommend you check him out. So me and him are partnering okay, cool. on this two day workshop based conference. It's going to be probably in July. It's like right before TypeCon, um, okay. and we're calling it Lettering Gold. <laughs> Oh my god, that's so cute! Right? Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, like I think that. I think you dig it. Like the first day is all about marketing and talking about like how to promote yourself on social media, how to create a client attracting website, mm-hmm. and then the second day, um, I'm gonna do a workshop on like how to do the best lettering layout because I know that's something that no one oh, ever talks gosh. about. Yeah, and everyone's like, "This is how you draw the letter A," but like no one tells you how to put the, the A in with other <laughs> words. Doing, yeah, exactly. <laughs> in a composition um and then uh noah's gonna be uh teaching you how to make uh 3d lettering using cinema 4d yeah um so it's gonna be we're gonna do a a panel on pricing and then we're also doing a panel Mm -hmm. to help support the lgbtq and um feminist groups and again actually talking about something really similar to what we're talking about here is just like how to be more independent in this very saturated creative community and how you can kind of find your own voice and find a community at the same time so yeah, and it's not gonna be too expensive. So I think you would like it. You yes. Like, oh. Okay. I'm for, I'm for sure going to that. <laughs> I yeah. will be there. Yes. <laughs> First ticket sold. Let's do this. Yes. Sold. <laughs> when yeah. you can't find a creative community, there's nothing wrong with creating a creative community. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So like. For me, like I think the thing that's helped me the most is with lettering adventures um, on Patreon. Or mm-hmm. I teach like one new style of lettering every month. I have a mastermind mm-hmm. group. They pay 50 bucks a month mm-hmm. to meet once a week on a Discord chat meeting, right? So, you know, we don't mm-hmm. have to look at each other. We don't have to worry about looking cute to talk to each other, yeah. which is nice. <laughs> um, and we just talk about like our goals and like what we did that week. And mm-hmm. uh, we critique each other's work. And it's been so fucking helpful. I can't That's even tell awesome. you. And I charge them for it because I, I read somewhere that if someone pays to be a part of a mastermind group, they just care more and they actually yeah. like, show up. Yeah. Versus mm-hmm. like trying to get some people like, hey, friend, I like you, 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 and you. Let's talk every day yeah. at eight o'clock. One you will happen. show up. Yeah. All the yous will be like, fuck you. So yeah, definitely something I recommend to a lot of people doing. And even just having like 1,200, even having an amazing 1,200 followers, you could mm-hmm. probably do something like that if you wanted to. And so yeah, cool. so it's something <laughs> I think more people should think about. It doesn't have to be 50. Yeah. It could be like $10, just a dollar, yeah. like just something where someone feels more involved in it. Of course. And it's so fucking nice. And all I think the, the perfect number is six people, six uh, people? not including yourself. So seven total. Mm-hmm. And that way, like there's enough voices where like everyone has a different opinion. And mm-hmm. also you have to consider not everyone's going to talk. Right. Yeah. Like some people are going to find sure. their moments. And so mm-hmm. that way, it, you know, it usually uh, lasts like 90 minutes like once a week it's so fun I like I leave every single meeting like energized and excited to work and critiquing other people's work and seeing what they're doing just further Mm -hmm. inspires my own creative practice so Mm -hmm. it's just like Mm -hmm. a perfect give and take it's so amazing I I definitely recommend everyone being a part of some sort of mastermind group 100% yeah and it's remote (laughs) so you don't have to fucking worry about like oh let's all meet at this one coffee shop oh fuck this traffic it's like nope boop boop I love it. It's super fun. Um, so, yeah, I love that. Yeah, you should 
You should you should start a mastermind group, I think. I'm gonna. <laughs> Okay, so let's talk about creative partnerships. Okay, so you say you have one artist friend. Do you ever do or like seek out like collaborations with other artists? Which is kind of like a small way of being like, like, hey, I like you enough to work with you and maybe be friends. I feel like it's a lot of talk of collaborating, not a lot of like action. Yeah. (laughs) Which is, I don't know, it's kind of weird. (laughs) I don't know how to... Yeah, I don't think I've ever like had like a solid like collab like piece with someone, but there's a lot of talk about it. So yeah. maybe that's something I need to work on is to make that an actual thing. Yeah, you should do it. Even if it's something really tiny, like, oh, let's just do mm-hmm. this piece together. Like I'll do this mm-hmm. section, you do that section, or let's come up with mm-hmm. the ideas together and I'll do thumbnails, you do thumbnails, and then we'll Frankenstein and make a baby from our ideas. Or like, mm-hmm. you know, since I'm a lettering artist, I will actively collab with illustrators. Like, even though I do illustration, like, they're so yeah. much better than me when it comes to drawing actual yeah. things and not letters. Um, yeah. And then it's a really nice fucking project to do. Whether or not we show it to mm-hmm. anybody, it's just nice to work with someone in that capacity. Because mm-hmm. especially since I'm full-time freelance, I don't really get that opportunity to do it that much. Yeah. And I think it's a great way to find a friendship. Like, Noah, like mm-hmm. I, I'm going to do the conference with, he was in my mastermind group. And oh, so we just have like a really, it's almost like we co-lead it because we're oh, both cool. like such professionals in our own right that we're just like, oh no, you should do this. And, and Noah would be like, Dina, should I stop giving advice? I was like, no, fuck you. Give more <laughs> no. advice. Yeah. Um, and then, so working together on, uh, so I know working together on this conference is going to be a fun process for us. So I think just doing like a little project, talking about it and just trying to organize mm-hmm. it a little bit. Like, yeah. okay, this is what we need to do. This is Mm -hmm. what you're going to do. This is what I'm going to do. We're going to meet once a week to talk about our progress and what we did. So that Mm -hmm. way you know that it's actually real. And Mm -hmm. I think that makes it a lot easier. I'm giving you so many ideas with what you could do. You got to start a mastermind group. You got to go to more networking meetings. (laughs) It's 2018. You got to do the fucking collabs. Make this stuff happen. (laughs) Mm -hmm. Lots of different, lots of possibilities and challenges. You can pick from all these different ideas. Yeah. (laughs) Oh, I love that. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm that person. I will just be like, hey, have you tried this? What about this? What about yeah. that? What about this? <laughs> um, <it>. Okay, <laughs> so how about, okay, how about we use this opportunity as a sounding board for mm-hmm. people to reach out to you? Does that sound like a good opportunity? Yeah, that would be awesome. <laughs> All right, so let's, so let's get into it. Um, who would be, like, you don't think about, like, a project or anything, but who would be, like, your ideal person to work with? Like, where would they be located? Does that matter? What kind of work would they do? And how much Ooh. experience do you want them to have? Do you want to work with someone who's newer, who's in school or just graduated? Do you want to work with someone mm-hmm. who's a little bit more senior and seasoned? I don't know. I think like seasoned, like fiesta. <laughs> like you want them to be seasoned? <laughs> hmm. um, what would be okay. your, your ideal partner? and Creative partner. I, I mean, ideally, it'd be awesome to have someone who's from L.A., Um, where we can meet up and actually like talk and like sketch together because that's kind of like I feel like we're like most of my ideas like come like the most natural is like when I'm like with a sketchbook like with someone like okay cool like I have this idea I'm able to like explain it a lot better Um, but I'm cool with working with someone remote as well and as for experience I'm totally cool and open to working with someone who doesn't have a lot of experience because I'm I just love to share like my knowledge and um, yeah, I think that's like what I like makes me the happiest is like being able to like explain to someone why I'm making this decision or why I'm doing this or just explain my crazy process behind everything I do. So it would be cool to work with someone um, where I could teach them something. Yeah. So you just, you just offered being a mentor to someone. That's what you, that's what you just did. All (laughs) right. All right, peeps. All right. If I'm you, a mentor now. If you, that's literally all it takes, though. Like, I'm not even that's kidding. So weird. Yeah. You're, you're right, though. Yeah. See, this is all about being an independent woman, guys. Exactly. Exactly. And fucking yeah. making it work for yourself. Um, you can be moves. whatever the fuck you want in this world, especially mm-hmm. nowadays. It's with the yeah. gig mentality. Um, all right, guys. So you heard her. Samantha is looking for a mentee. A mentee. A mentee. <laughs> um, to do a cool illustration collab. You don't have to be yeah. in L.A. Uh, but if you are, that's extra bonus points for you and sprinkles. We can hang out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I think that'd be really awesome. So out of all the different things for you personally, what you think, what do you think would be the best way for you to connect and tap into a creative community? Do you think the mentee thing, mentor would be the best? 
Hmm. Or- yeah, I think that would probably be the best for me because I feel like it just shows uh, just like a whole other side of my illustration skills, I guess. It's kind of like at a point where it's like, okay, I can, I have this knowledge and I want to share it now, you know? Yeah. It's like not just like putting my work out there. It's like, cool, like let me help you, you know, which is like it's kind of like weird to say that because I'm not like – a professional you know but it doesn't it's like, matter I have this knowledge and it's like I want to like help people you know because I was totally. confused and like I didn't know what I was doing but it's like now that I like kind of know what I'm doing I'm more than happy to share that with like yeah. anyone and you also know? just a heads up once you start making money from your work you are a professional so you've been a professional for like a long time <laughs> and you just need to own it yeah <laughs> <laughs> I'm a professional now guys yeah fucking own it um okay so (laughs) final words um anything that you would like to plug people can follow you and all the things sam x lopez on everything guys (laughs) i'm online 24 7 let's talk (laughs) right send her messages be her friend on the internet we need to connect don't be weird but we could yeah (laughs) don't be super clingy and needy we don't like that um but just be be nice yeah right (laughs) And, like, also, I would invite everyone who's watching this to, next time you see a post on Instagram or Twitter or Dribble, don't just write, mm-hmm. like, thumbs up emoji. Don't just fucking yeah. put rad. Give someone, like, like either some literal feedback, like, hey, I really like mm-hmm. the symmetry in this piece, or I love the color palette that was used here. Oh, I see that you use the golden ratio, <laughs> you know? <laughs> Something, like, so that way we can really start to connect, because it's really hard to do that when it's just, like, awesome, this is cool, like, that's... Mm-hmm. Those are statements. Like, let's start asking questions. Let's actually start to use social media for what it was supposed to be used for. And that's connecting yeah. with each other. And then connecting in real life will hopefully get easier. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and yeah, I know, hopefully. Yeah, hopefully, <laughs> right? I don't know. We're all full of, like, anxiety. Like, us yeah, millennials were just like, but everyone's going to hate me. And I just don't know. And what if I post and I don't get any likes? What if I lose likes and the followers don't like? Like, I get it. I feel you. I we it. all feel it. You just have to kind of swallow it. And just do it anyways and just kind of say fuck it because yeah. you're never going to know unless you try. And again, exactly. the worst thing anyone can ever say to you is no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks. When we come back, we're going to be talking about how to create diversified revenue streams. So yeah. all the different ways you guys can make money from your art. Yeah, I like money. Mm-hmm. You like money? Make that money. Make that money. Make it. Make it. Cash <laughs> money. That. Green paper. All right. <laughs> thanks, guys. See you next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Oh, wasn't that such a great episode, guys? Yes. Oh, I love having these conversations with different women on this show because not only do we hear from other people's perspectives, but we hear our own fears kind of being said out loud. I myself have been afraid to leave my house to go to a networking event. I was afraid to actually talk to other artists because I felt like I wasn't good enough. And I think there is something very comforting to know that we all feel this way and we're not alone. So why not just fucking buck up, nut up or shut up, go out there and start to make some friends. Because remember, I'm going to keep saying it. The worst thing that anyone can do is say no or just blatantly ignore you. Now for some really exciting news. I am currently looking for some volunteers out there to help me with Women of Illustration. It is a crazy amount of work producing each of these episodes, editing them, and then actually posting things on social media every single day to help inspire artists everywhere that females fucking kick ass and we're not going to quit anytime soon. So if you guys really want to be a part of Women of Illustration in a bigger way and you have some time to volunteer, I would love it if you would contact me at dina at womenofillustration.com so that way we can just work together to make this platform even bigger and better and in exchange for your time, I am more than happy to give you some free consultation, something I usually charge about $100 an hour for, whether it's to help you build your business, get more followers on Instagram, whatever your goal, I want to be able to help you personally through it. It's the least I can do for you helping me out with this very important passion project, helping more women get exposure so we all can have equal representation in the media and equal opportunity, just like everybody else.
Finally, if you have enjoyed these videos, guys, please hit that subscribe button. Not only are you going to get a new episode of Women of Illustration every other week, but you're also going to get a personal vlog from yours truly on my successes and failures as a freelance hand lettering artist. And I would just love for you guys to be a part of this community that we're building right now. If you guys would like a challenge, definitely consider being more a part of Women of Illustration, whether or not that's volunteering or giving us a follow on our Women of Illustration Instagram. Instagram or becoming a patron for just one dollar so you can get early access to every single episode a couple days before they go live and you get to join a community of a bunch of badass female illustrators. Thank you guys so much. I'll see you on the flip side.